Uh, we've been on quite a run. We've had some good numbers. The jobs numbers obviously propelling the market higher today. Uh, looks like uh, we may open down just marginally, but uh, what, what are you thinking? What are you, what are you doing about all of this yeah. right now? Yeah, no, I, as you said, Andrew, it's been a phenomenal market. In fact, um, really since November of 2020, when we had the elections and uh, the arrival of the vaccines, uh, we've seen you know two real themes in the market. The first theme has been this rotation into value, um, somewhat at the expense of growth. Uh, and the second theme has really been the rise in rates. So we've seen um, the 10-year Treasury yield go from 0.91% to about 170 uh, today. And so what has that done? Well, again, that's continued to put some pressure on uh, parts of the corporate bond market, credit markets, but also put some pressure on what we are calling longer duration asset classes like technology, parts of healthcare. I also put some pressure on what we call the bond proxy sectors like REITs and utilities. Um, now, of course, as we're looking towards the real reopening here in the summer months, uh, we're mindful of a couple things. Uh, one, you know, the, this value rotation has had a nice run already. In fact, if you look at sectors like energy, financials and industrials, they're up 70 percent uh, about 40% and 30% respectively since that November time period. So, you know, ha they've had a great run. Um, we do think there's another leg to go as we really see the reopening come through in the economic and earnings numbers. Um, but we are getting a little bit more selective here. Uh, we're certainly looking at, at where our highest conviction lies. And we're mindful of, you know, perhaps right. some tailwinds heading into the second half of the year. Mona, we're going to run into a hard break in one sec, but are there any any tech names any or any names you think that have been rotated out of that actually should be rotated back into? Yeah, you know, a couple sectors that we like that are supported by the Biden administration, clean energy, first of all, they, they've had a, a tremendous rise and then a tremendous fall. We think it's a long term secular winner. And then secondly, an area like 5G, you know, part of the infrastructure right. package, part of broadband, um, certainly something we think coming to the forefront this year. So those are two sectors okay. that are kind of growthy that we like. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.